Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen. This is our view as we're looking from our Indian Wells camera towards the San Gorgonio Pass. Still incredibly hazy out there. This is a site that we can normally make out. Mount San Jacinto right there there but just barely and then there's the San Gorgonio Pass. There's still a lot of haze in the air and one just have to say thank you to everybody who submitted their weather photos yesterday from before it arrived to after it arrived. Really appreciate you sharing your location and your view so we knew what was happening in different parts of the Coachella Valley at different times and of course moving forward if you have any weather photos or videos to share you can send them to share at KESQ.com. So why is our sky still hazy? Right? Why, why, why didn't it just clear out overnight? It's actually overnight that was the issue. So on a typical setup during the day, the sun is heating the surface of the earth and then it can rise and as it rises, it cools. Well, that's allowing the air and different particulates to kind of mix then throughout the atmosphere and thin out a bit more. However, when there's a temperature inversion, well, that's actually going to trap our air closer to the surface. And if there's any extra particulates in the air, like we're seeing sand and dust, well, that's going to trap it closer to the surface as well. And that's exactly what happened overnight. Unfortunately, we're looking to have another one as we head into tonight. So it's really these daytime hours that are our best uh, opportunity for more of that mixing to occur because overnight it is incredibly limited. The good news is we are making progress out there today. Yesterday and even into this morning, hazardous air quality was being recorded all around the Coachella Valley, but now we are beginning to see that progress. Still, when you're looking at this orange, that's indicating unhealthy for sensitive groups. So this is phenomenal progress in the time frame that we've had. However, just to our west through the San Gorgonio Pass, that's still unhealthy air quality. So it's going to be a slow recovery. We're going to see the best recovery down towards the south first, and then slowly as it progresses up towards the north, we'll see that better air quality move into the Coachella Valley. Now, the haboob from yesterday was caused by thunderstorms all the way down in Imperial County. They were just so powerful with their outflow, creating those gusty conditions. And I'm continuing to track more storms as they work our way across the desert southwest. Now, everything out there today much more limited but still seeing a few cells down in Imperial County seeing a little cell right there close to Beaumont Banning area and then of course more of those storms out over Arizona the general direction with everything is going to be from the northeast to the southwest and this is a setup that is going to be staying with us even as we head into the weekend so notice our winds nowhere near as gusty as what we were experiencing yesterday when the haboob came through but the direction of our winds has changed we're dealing with more of an offshore flow so our winds are arriving from the east and it's this same setup that will stay with us as we head into our Saturday and our Sunday. The reason for that is an area of low pressure down towards the south. Now that also has a lot of moisture associated with it and as we head into the weekend some of that moisture is going to continue to move into Southern California. So just as we saw yesterday, storms developing over the mountains and desert, we can expect that same setup to continue as we head into the weekend. And here in the Coachella Valley, we are still going to be staying quite humid with our dew point temperatures in the 50s. Now moving into Sunday, this is going to be a better opportunity for more storms to develop over our mountains. So make sure that you are making your weekend plans accordingly. I'm not saying cancel your plans, but be ready to make changes when those mountain storms do begin to develop and we'll begin to see more of those storms even across parts of the high desert as well. Our first alert comfort air seven day forecast does treat us quite nicely, at least when we're talking about our temperatures, because just two weeks ago we were still talking record heat, but now we are going to be cooling on down into the low 90s as we head into the middle of next week. Certainly looking forward to that progress and Peter, it's something we've been talking about for a while, just trying to find more relief, not only in the afternoons, but also overnight. We're going to be dropping down from our overnight lows, which were in the 80s as we began this week to eventually dropping down into the 60s by next week. Mm, some big changes happening.